Hey, what's good y'all? It's your boy Don from The Don Show. We're back for another episode. We're doing a music video reaction, of course. And check this out. Remember I told you I was going to do another video, right? And look who's still here. You know what I'm saying? You see the bro. He's still here. So you know the last video you saw us together, we did any, right? Straight Kiss. So I got to show him a dance practice video. Got to show him some choreography, right? So what we're going to do is this. We're going to do Straight Kiss TA. Okay, so we're gonna do that video and we're gonna see his reaction. You're gonna see my reaction because I haven't heard this uh, track or I haven't even seen the video. So, gotta give it fresh, right? So, let's go ahead and get it started. But before that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this. And if you want more dance practices from other groups or straight kids, just let me know. You know how we get down. So, let's go ahead and get started, okay? All right, Nick, go ahead and do that. All right, I'm gonna up and make that full size. All righty. All right, so this go. one we're gonna hit the play button, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come down on it like Choreographer, I'm telling you this right now. The fact that the whoever is working the camera right now in the transition flow with the next artist singing, that is so smooth. I don't even know how many times they probably rehearsed that, but that was very clean. And I, and as you can see, at 27 seconds, the next choreography is about to come in the scene. I am looking forward to this. Also, I see they change the style up. See more bounce. See more of a bounce with it. Seeing little West African moves, little dance hall in there. I said, oh, yeah, I see it, I see it. Okay, let's go, let's go, okay? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm like, Look, I'm hey. zoned in. Like, you know, I, I love dance so much. And, and the way I watch dance and the way I appreciate it. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, obviously that transition was crazy. Like, it's actually the slide that does it for me. Because ah, it comes off yeah. the, uh, what would be his right side. Yeah. So the way it, it transfers on the right side. So he's actually down low. Mm -hmm. And he actually, so you get that level change. Yeah. And he pops up. So you actually get synchronous level changes. So he's down here, he pops up. And he comes in, slides low. Yeah. So you literally are creating these multiple level changes. So what that does, you create textures from different angles and now he's sliding this way to ultimately get people to come off from the opposite side so it just creates this entire visual dynamic and these visual elements that are super crazy so I'm really excited to see like how, how they keep building into the transitions and I see like they having fun, you know what I mean? Yeah. They get the like I said dance hall, but he drops the hits yep. the folks and yep. then it goes Bop, shoulder, 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 shoulder wop, yep. and then it goes into the rock and then it's like dot 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 back to level changes out. So you know, seeing this very right now they're very level heavy. Yes. And so I'm excited to see how they use that. If they start going higher higher on the level, start using the space above them, mm -hmm. or you know, or or they start using transitioning, rotating formations to see. Okay. So that's what I'm I'm interested to see where it's going. Okay. gonna continue the high low theme and the answer is yes and they're they're executing it masterfully like if you consistently watch these high lows mm -hmm. I said like that's a consistent theme if you really watch how they're doing how they're using this people on the sides mm -hmm. to create things even when they throw it off to the screen mm -hmm. so we call those like throw offs so it, you you pass energy they have a lot of different terms on it but essentially it's throw off where one side of the screen gets thrown to another and then it's like someone reacts to that you know you never get to see it but it's called a throw off so we see those movement we see that how they pass it and then they get in the middle like 
like, yeah, 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 bam. And then you see the come up. Mm -hmm. You see the three come up and things. So you're creating these, how we're watching different things. And then they have a running cameraman or like a continuous angle, whatever you want to call it. So you see the, the cameraman is running as they run to the right. Mm -hmm. Then he's running to the left. Yep. And then they go back hard center. Yep. And so just watching that. But that right there, yes. that the way they, they were able to work it to the front and yeah. they all moving back like, yeah, yeah, stop. And when the camera Ooh. is, is going this way right that gives the choreographer to make sure that dance choreo is already set up so by the time the cameraman comes right back whatever the move is next far as transition wise we're ready to go you're on cue there's no sitting you have to be ready just because the camera is not on you does not mean you get lazy you have to get into character so that's the same thing when you're doing a concert and being on stage once your body touches that the floor you're on stage even when the curtains cover you. No, you're on stage already. You have to activate right there. And that's a man. Let's go. Man. <laughs> So I'm just take a moment mm -hmm. and say, I'm not saying I'm from the future. I'm just saying I know dance. In that entire last 22 second stretch, uh -huh. when they pulled out the rags, notice everything is above their head. All the movement is swaying above their head. Yeah. All of this is below the head. Because the first thing I say, remember, is I'm excited to see if they're going to use those levels to yes. create it in. And they started creating it above them. So now it forces you to look here. And then they start doing stuff down low and they went back to dance hall. So it's get up here and then it forces on the legs. Yes. It's that visual movement to make your eyes go, okay, boom. I never get to settle on something. Yes. So that's something a little quick I wanted y'all to point out. And before that, uh, one thing to know, when you have been, when you're using a certain material or a product, like a prop, when you're performing, it is the most 50-50 risk that you're taking when you do that. Because yes. that right there, somebody could literally hit the wrong part of that. That's that scarf, or that tile that they're using, and it get dropped to the ground, and then cut, run it back. <laughs> That's the thing. So shout out to them for like staying on that. I don't even know how many times they ran this one. Right. Mm, okay. I'm ready. Here we go. Let's get it. Simple. Very simple. Very simple transition. to another camera. Yep. First off, the reason why I'm laughing is because the one thing, and we we talk about dance for over years. This is my best friend. We talk about this all the time. For dancers and teachers and directors, we can we can tell when when dancers in the community are watching what's trending and what's going on in the world. So there's certain moves that happens not just in rap music or R&B and jazz and K-pop. You can see what's trending in the sounds and the rhythm interpretation that's happening. I can see what's happening in the dance world by watching them. Like, whenever, whenever this came out, I can see that era of dancing right there. Reason why, like when it came to they do this, boom, 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 boom. Come on now, if y'all go online, you will see certain movements like that from that's trending like TikTok or that's trending on Instagram at that time. Dancers are like a time machine, like not time machines, but like you they're, can see the time. They're a window into time. Yeah, they're they're yeah. like a time portal yeah. because you can see where their movement, where they're inspired. But I, I to double on that and piggyback off yeah. that, the important thing of any great dancer choreographer is to take those elements yep. of trendy and make it relevant in real dance. What are we talking dance. about? I told y'all last like, video about that. That's yes. the key. Like yeah. it's it's not enough to any any that 
random party or any clubber can hit this, you yeah. know what I mean? And make it look all right or they'll yeah. hit the shoulders. The question is, how do you hit this and then go da 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 da? Yeah. Or you go here, boom, transition, yeah. and you got whole choreo land. Yeah, not that, dropping the That move. is the important thing because you have to be able to use that consistently. Yes. It's a part of it. It's not the stop. Like, you know, when you're just a training one, you go do do do, it stops. No, it needs to continue do, that flow. Do, do. Uh, boom, boom, it has to keep Continue. On. And, and one thing that's quick I, I want y'all to point out, y'all see this a lot, like the hand movement and it transitions, but the reason it's so important is here is because it breaks up the entire theme because it's the only part where it becomes dark. They're in two lines and it becomes dark. Everything, because what they do is you create this dark, so it's like, okay, I, I know what I've been watching, I know what it's watching. Oh, mm -hmm. we're in a different scene. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, transition back to this large group formation. Because mm -hmm. in this dark row, there's two rows in. Yeah. And it goes back to things. So that's a nice effect they added to really just break up the, the video mm -hmm. as far as the dance choreography yes, part. Yes, yeah. And, and one thing I want to shout out, like the, the team, the production behind this, shout out to the back because I'm really see how the colors are set up. And even though this is just a dance practice, you can also see like they're mindful how that backdrop is looking. Like all the lights are set they up. Created, they created they created a visual yeah. idea, a warehouse visual area. Thing. Yeah, like the whole warehouse factory feel. Yeah, I'm with that, man. Let's go. So I want to say this, which is I think is so dope. There's so many ways you can make a choreo for your videos or just your personal Instagram or TikTok. And for this, for this group, for Straight Kids, the, all the choreo that I've seen so far watching Straight Kids and my bro, this is his only second time seeing Straight Kids. The one thing I love about them that I'm going to get credit where it's due to the choreographer and then the whole group itself is the principle of the fact that this is ready for it to be on a concert and tour because of the fact it's a part of this where y'all can join the celebration feel, tile throwing. I would have absolutely would have had this for ready for tour. This is tour ready. Only thing I can do now is probably add more dancers in the back if I wanted to, boy. I could just have them and I'm throwing y'all tiles in the crowd. This is concert ready. Like this is engaging. It's telling you to like, it's making you feel like rise up. Like I'm gonna check out the English version, like the lyrics, but without even me knowing the words, as a director, I would have, I'm already in tone for like, yo, this is tour ready. This is almost concert ready to be on stage live. So I just want to shout that out real quick. That the whole perspective of how the choreo was built. This is dope. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was dope. Yeah. That, that was dope. Yeah. For so many levels. Look, shout out to the videographer. Yeah. Cause the the way that seamless movement was crazy, the mm -hmm. transitions were crazy, the the use of like the walls, like you know, and I, I know that sounds like weird, but once again, if you look when they went in two straight lines again and the, uh he was walking up, they were on that white wall with the metal. So just like they used it with the dark theme, yeah. that's the only time they're in straight lines. Like in that way, kind of using that runway feel. Mm -hmm. And then noticing the exact same thing when they turned looking on the colorful backdrop, mm -hmm. they went into the big group because that gave the party mm -hmm. feel. It's those things that you use to, to help create moments in your dance and moments in your videos that you know, the average person is not going to be like, oh yeah, he has the white background and metal. Like, no one's going to do that. But what they will see is going, yo, that felt different. They'll see it and go, that felt different. They may not be able to tell you why, but they do. 
it's, and it's, you know, people like us who can say, well, this is why. Because they're creating that contrast for you. They're creating a story you can tell. Mm -hmm. They're watching it. So like Don said, you go on tour and you already know, like, you flip the stage. So that might just be yeah. they talk to the left side of the stage. Then we talk to the right side of the stage. And then when they splitting, so then everybody in the middle like, y'all getting hype? Y'all getting hype? Hey, 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 let's go. Yes. And see, already you create that moment and you create that, it builds energy. You know, yes. one thing that dance is meant to do, especially in concert field, is to build energy. Yes. You know what I mean? Especially because from 50,000 feet up, yes. you can't see all the intricate movements. Yes. So you want to be big. You want people to feel what you're doing. Yes. And that is what this video did so well and how it easily translates to stage. Yes. And then once again, Straight Kids is very, very clean. And I know there's other groups that, um, that I'm preparing to check out. And I have a feeling in my gut that all of them are going to be definitely clean. And like Straight Kids, this group truly is very, very clean. And like I was really nervous with the props because when you are putting choreo together, hey, we playing hey, with props, miss, boy. it's a hit or miss. It can be real like, cheesy. Yeah, like, oh my it's god, it's real hit or miss so, with props. That and then it just and with the cameraman flowing like that, you don't want to have your cameraman having to run at a ninety nine times because the speed, timing, and exchanging of the transitions that when it threw us off and it brought us here, like that stuff might. You know, people don't know that stuff is not really easy at all to be matching with your choreo and the cameraman. Like it would be the it'd be the worst when you see great choreography and you can't see what everything is going on because the way the lens and stuff is set up on the camera. That is the worst. That's a lot of work that people just won't be able to get a chance to see. Not to mention, I don't care who you are. You don't look the same when you run it on time number one versus time 99. Yes. You are not the same it's dancer. The same. You don't have the same energy. By no. time 99, you like, oh, yes. we got to be doing this again. Hey, get it together, Charles. Get it together, okay? Yeah, I, like, like Don, know. please, please, please make it happen. And so that's what you happen. So that's why it's important. Like if you use props, use them just enough to yes. create your point as accents. And then just like they did, they put them over their shoulders, yes. kept dancing. They threw it, yes. kept dancing. Because you want them to be accent props. If you got to run the whole thing, yes. you start getting real dicey, playing with fire. And more often than not, you're going to get burned with yep, it. Yeah, you're going to get burned with it. I mean I, I, I mean, I can't really add much to that because that's actually like how I man was doing work out here in the community. And so we just really just big on that, you know, just making sure like we pay attention to how many times we're running this, this piece because because then if you're getting too tired, then guess what happens? The energy goes down. You got to take a break. It's time to eat. Catch your energy. Do the makeup again. Hey, you can't be sweating that much. You can sweat, but you can't be sweating that much in here. <laughs> you like, know, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You can't be sweating too much and then it looks like you're just like burning out. So all this stuff plays a major part when they putting this video together. And we're new. Like he's two, day, two videos in. I'm a couple videos in, but I can just tell y'all like, there's a lot of hard work that's probably going on behind the scenes of straight kids that none of us have ever seen. Um, we don't know. Like, dancers go through a lot, and these music groups go through so much to be consistent with great music and choreography and putting a production like this together that makes it feel like it's a story being happening. Not, not a game. Hey, I'm two days... I'm two videos. Two videos. I'm two videos to K-pop. Yeah. But I'm 20 years to the arts. Yes. I've, yes. Been, I've been dancing for over 20 years. Yeah. I've been doing video singing art for almost 10. Yeah. So I'm I'm new to to K-pop and, mm -hmm. and seeing it, but I'm not new to art, and yeah. that's why I can appreciate everything that's happening. Yeah. So that's why you see it's kind of like, like yeah, like woo. we watch back like okay, we, we yeah. talk about it. So you know. It was great, you know. Yeah. What I mean, like that was that was an experience. Yeah. I, I haven't been able to enjoy some dance like that in a while. Just yeah. people having fun, people doing it, and people doing it the right way. So. Yeah. So other than that, y'all, we thank y'all so much. We appreciate y'all. Um, you'll find out if he does another video again, but all these is gonna be up. So his information will be available in the description, and we have more information, more news for y'all. So note, I have seen all the comments about NCT, Stray Kids, Blackpink, and more groups y'all want me to check out. Trust me, throughout this whole year, I got y'all we're putting in work so i got some news for y'all coming soon um just be ready for that all right so other than that y'all we see y'all later like comment subscribe share boom you already know nick kelly you can find me at nicholas kelly R R D on all platforms that's n-i-c-h-o-l-a-s-k-e-l-l-y r-d all platforms 
Go ahead, share it with your friends, tell them how awesome they are, tell everybody you know, go tell your mama, tell your grandma, let them all hit it, come get some. Thank y'all. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Yes. My yeah. God. <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace. This is why we can't go nowhere. Like. Oh.